Hi, my name is Jeremy Reese, and we are here today in Bangalore, India on a uh, very, very successful project that we've put together along with Great Sports and Subair Systems. And we're pleased to be standing here on a beautiful new field with a uh, state-of-the-art Subair system installed. Uh, with Subair, you know, basically we are looking to solve a very significant problem in the cricket uh, stadiums today. As you notice, you know, many of the matches get called off uh, because, not because it's raining, but after it has stopped raining, it takes forever for the field to be dry enough to play and sometimes the matches just get called off. Now each washout is, uh, is a, a big loss actually, uh, not only to the, for us, uh, also for the paying public, uh, the Instadia guys, the television guys, so th the risk is almost uh, 80 to 100 crores uh, for each game. It has two modes. We have vacuum mode and we have pressure mode. First, let's talk a little bit about the vacuum mode. This is the moisture removal part of a sub-air system. With a sub-air unit, we are actually able to remove moisture 36 times faster than natural drainage alone. And what that equates out to is us being able to remove up to 10,000 liters of water per minute from this particular pitch. As you get the excess moisture from a rain event, as the water collects in the soil profile, we are able to turn on the blower and use the drainage tile underneath to remove the said moisture. Um, and in turn, it will remove it and we're able to discharge it. We're able to use our reversing valve and force pressurized air through the drainage tile through the gravel layer, the gravel has a very open void. So as the air dissipates, you get an even distribution of air across the entire pitch. So in both vacuum and pressure mode, you're able to remove that moisture or either apply fresh oxygen to the entire pitch. So it's not isolated just where the drainage tiles are located. Our whole uh, value proposition has been that you know, until it's it's raining, it's an act of God. You can't really help it. But the minute it stops raining, you should be able to assure that you can restart the game within minutes. That's really what we want to bring in as a fan experience. We are continuing to aerate the roots continuously right through the multiple days that it may be kept covered. So you take the covers off, and you'll still find that you know the grass is lush green and beautiful and in uh, you know in good rich shape. So that's another benefit that the subsurface aeration, a benefit of subair system, comes that you could therefore safely use your stadium for non-sport events without damaging the grass. For the sub -air system to function at its most efficient best, it needs to have a compatible base. So the old base that was laid about 40 years had to be removed. So we had to excavate the soil in almost 13,000 square meters. We laid a pipeline system of almost 4.5 kilometers in length. All these pipes are uh, in a closed loop system and they converge at the air water separator, wherein the air and the water are separated, which is further connected to the sub -air system which is under the stands. There are 12 sensors around the field which measure salinity and moisture and we have two oxygen sensors. Further, the system can also be uh, accessed via phone for this, just absolutely no problem. We are really happy the quality of work what they have done. It. They kept on to the time in spite of a lot of uh, hiccups from the weather or many other factors. With respect to the financial aspect and economics also, it made sense for us because recently the last match at the Chinnaswamy Stadium was washed out due to heavy rains. You know, if they had this system, they could have started the play. Whatever the amount of rain it falls, whatever the amount of rain it falls, I think that if the rain stops, we can start the match in five minutes. I'm very, very uh, happy and also uh, I confirm this is the best system uh, which every state should adopt and see that uh, no matches here after in the country will be postponed or uh, 
uh, cancer.